I, I promise you, none of us are related to Austin Riley. We've talked about him a lot That's in the right. show. Uh, but you see what he did between 2020 and 2021. He hit 239, and then he went to work and focused on his swing and every way to improve his game. And he was by far the most improved player in baseball, which got me thinking, why don't we anoint the most improved player in baseball every year? It is time <laughs> for the Riley Awards. Austin doesn't even know what doing this, by the way. No, he's probably checked in. I mean, we talk about him a lot. I, I, but this I'm is the deal. Talk. He's a current player. I, I, I His agent's what? like, call this show. Right. Yeah. I, I need a piece of this action. He's not even sniffing the age of 30. He's got his own award right now. So who is, and Ryan, I'll start with you, as okay. we look back at 2022, because Austin Riley really got us thinking about this from his performance in 21. Who takes home the Riley Award for 2022? Did you guys watch Tristan McKenzie this year? Oh, yes. my goodness. He was great. Yeah. I mean, what a joy to watch the maturation of this young right-hander. Um, a guy who really, his control was what was separating separating him from being one of the elite pitchers. Uh, the reasons we don't count wins anymore or records is because of Tristan McKenzie. 11-11 uh, and 11 last year. ERA, though, almost three runs less than it was the year before, or two runs less than the year before, and he reduced his walks. He increased his strikeouts. He just had a phenomenal year, and he was on the verge of... Is this young man ever going to, like, become the pitcher we think he can? Well, he did last year. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Tristan McKenzie. I don't know. We, we didn't really talk about this in our production meeting. So, two what? people can't win the award. No. So, I guess I'll, I'll just – Total, I'll make the total, call. I'll cheat it. So, here's your candidate, <laughs> Tristan candidate. McKenzie. Yes, yes. And now let's hear Cliff's. Who's the most improved player in baseball for 2022? Hunter Green. I just like Hunter Green. I, I, that's why I say I cheated, because when you talk about <laughs> what Hunter Green did, I had to talk about him, man. I wasn't going to just be like, you know what, Hunter Green, I'm going to exclude you out of this. I'm going to take you out, because I love when you talk about guys maturing and talking about he has a big arm. We know the big arm. We know the 100-mile-an-hour fastball. What can you do? Oh, oh, in the count. And those last five starts from August to October, because he did deal with, with a little bit of an injury bug for a minute. Wow. ERA 062. You can't. This is when you talk about young guys figuring it out oh. on the fly. Because if you can do this, now you have what they expect you to be. The number one pick is supposed to be a stud. He's supposed to come around. Well, this speaks to him understanding what he needs to do to sort of change the narrative of okay. he only has a big fastball. Maybe he's a bullpen guy. No, he's yeah. a starter in the game with, with secondary stuff, who I believe has to make these guys who they are. If you have secondary stuff and you can throw a change-up curveball oh, oh, I think you're good. So I, I see what you did there. Yeah. You took the assignment and you were like, within the season, who improved the most? Yeah. <laughs> Tristan See, McKenzie. I know he wanted to do that. Congratulations, you Tristan. Doing. You have won <laughs> yeah. the Riley Award for 2022. I hate <laughs> okay, but let's spin it forward. So I can't say you're wrong here. No. Because we're going to forecast who's going to be the Riley Award winner for 2023. It, it, I didn't cheat here. Oh, so are you going to go with Hunter Green? He no. Oh. Going O'Neill Cruz. Oh, oh yes. like so that, that. not in cheat there. Now you're talking well, about. I mean, now can I talk about this stuff? Yes. Go right ahead. <laughs> oh, look at it. Right. Look, there you go. I gotta show you some love. All, only thing I hope for, only thing I hope for, they don't mess with him. Leo Miss shortstop, the arm speaks to it, athleticism, he can run. He's an all-around player. What, you, what I like about more is boom, the arm strength. The swing path to the baseball, everything is solid, everything is smooth. He's like, he's like, he's been around 10, 12 years in the league already. And when you talk about these guys coming to the big leagues, they've made that ballpark in right field for Brian Giles back in the day. Hmm. Now it's O'Neill Cruises. That, yeah, that right field fence is real. I, I hope so, man. Because couldn't you see him right. 40 home runs? 17 home runs oh, in 87 he, he games. Makes ballparks look little. 17 home runs, 87 games speaks to him being a stud. Yeah. So again, he's predicting that O'Neill Cruz will be the 2023 recipient of the Riley Award. It's, we put 35 home runs oh, next year, O'Neill. Come on, baby. All right, but well, I'm sure we'll see the Riley Award again because Ron, you're going to give me your candidate for 2023. Who is it? I refuse, refuse to give up on Cody Bellinger. <gasps> Ooh. I think you know, in, in a year that he'd like to forget. 210 average, he still had 19 bombs, yeah. he still had 68 RBI. And I think that when you are with an organization, as long as he was in, in Los Angeles, and they have so many smart people that have tried to figure out how to get him back to this MVP rookie of the year form, you have so many voices in your head sometimes. Sometimes a change of habitat is what he needed. Being in Chicago, doing something a little different, quieting all that noise, and just going letting the athleticism uh, show. Um, I think Bellinger's going to have a big year. I'm going to say one thing. I hope he does. Yeah, me too. I, I, mm -hmm. it, look, and I believe all he needs to do is go from here 
right there. Widen up. To here. Yeah. I did it. It worked. It works because once I start having success, and now that success does not mean getting hits. It means hitting some balls hard. Yeah. yeah. Once I start doing that, and then I can start jumping because I think he's in the right division. He's going to pop some balls out of NL Central Ballpark. Change your habitat's a big deal. Change your habitat. Yeah, and, 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 and getting off to a quick start, I think, is huge because uh, there's got to be a, a lack of confidence there when you've gone Absolutely. through a couple of tough years.